So this is our Trask Assault Charge High Flow Air Filter Kit. And this is all the parts that you get with the kit. Um, it is a pretty simple install, but I'm just gonna go through some of the parts that you got here. Um, this is obviously the main part of the assembly. That's the filter, the clear cover, um, the outside retaining ring, and the backing plate. Um, we've got our linkages that <clears throat> assemble from the outside. Uh, so what that does is it keeps, there's no hardware on the inside, so it keeps it nice and smooth on the inside. Um, these are our breather bolt and spacers. They've got O-rings on the front and rear um, to seal everything up. And then the remaining bolts. We've got some quarter 20 bolts that mount the, that mount the main part, <clears throat> the backing plate uh, to the throttle body. And then the remaining 832nd screws, which capture the linkage as it comes up and tucks in the back there. So now we're gonna take it over and show you the assembly on this 2014 Street Glide and uh, show you how simple it is. So this is our 2014 Street Glide that is a customer's bike that uh, we're gonna be installing our, uh, our air filter kit on. Um, you wanna make sure you have the right tools that you're gonna need for the job. Um, basically a couple, couple of different size ratchets, quarter inch ratchet, three eighths ratchet, um, two or three different sizes of Allens and a Torx to help get the stock air filter off. Um, refer to the Harley owner's manual to remove that and just follow that procedure. We're gonna take this off and then uh, show you how our filter kit goes on in place of it. All right, so now that we've got our stock air filter kit removed, we're gonna go ahead and install our Trask Assault Charge air, High Flow Air Filter Kit. Um, so we're going to start with the backing plate <clears throat> and some of the quarter inch screws there. I'm going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on each of the screw. So there's an O-ring on the back that we use in, in place of a gasket that helps seal to the throttle body. So the O-ring is going to, to face backwards. Start the bolts. Okay, once you got the three of those started, now we're going to put these spacers in and the breather bolts and you want to put a little red Loctite on those bolts. Okay, so the reason, the reason that we started with just hand tightening and keeping this backing plate loose is so that it enables us to get the spacer in behind it and not have to force it in and then we're gonna snug everything down uniformly. So now that all those bolts are in place, now we can go ahead and... Now we've got our snap stack that we're gonna put in place. And that just sets in there. And we've got the main part of the filter um, that is all assembled with the with the clear the glass on the outside. That's gonna fit into place and you wanna get it lined up as best as you can with these three ears, which is what the linkage is gonna go to. The link, the dowels go on the back side just set in there and then sit down into this face plate. Let me take our 832nd screws that we have and thread those in. All right, and there you have it. There's the Trask Salt Charge High Flow Air Filter Kit. Easy enough. Anybody can install it at home with just a few basic tools. Put it on, go rip. You can actually see the throttle plate move. So not only does it work well, 
It looks badass. 